We're on? Are we live? I don't see us live yet. You might not see it. It's going to be delayed on there. So don't look for it. Let me do that for you. So, okay. We are live. Hi, everybody. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody. Sharon. We're I live. Think, yeah, we're live. I think we're actually live now. Guys, you have no idea what <laughs> getting to this point has <laughs> looked like. We are live and we are alive. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing over there, man? You know what? I'm so glad that you messaged me this morning. That was so nice of you just to check in and see how I'm doing. And um, it got us talking, right? And I'm glad that we're doing this because we're going to show people how we're going to stay social during social distancing. So first, I have to thank you and big you up. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And Greg? Grant. Grant. Yes. Grant. Grant, Grant, Grant. Thank you, Grant. <laughs> Thank you, Simone. Thank you, Dave, for letting me be on the now. This is so exciting. This is the first time I've been on the show. So this is so, so cool. And I've been following and watching you guys and I share it in my group. So you guys do amazing work. So it's great that we're going to do this. Yes. And you know what? It wasn't even supposed to be like it's like, yeah, we have the background and stuff. But honestly, it was just we were just going to do a live on yes. Instagram. It was gonna yeah, really yeah, yeah. We're just going to chat. Just us ladies talking about how things are. So, so this is even better, though. How things have been for you? Tell, tell everyone how things have been for you. What's going on on the east side? Okay, so, you know, um, hi, I'm Sharon Fletcher. And uh, I go out in the community and share stories similar to what um, the network where you are it does. Yes. But I just found this passion for sharing the places where I go. Uh, the things that I love doing anyways, and I would just put a Facebook Live on it, right? So um, then I thought, when I was reading some posts, um, people were saying extroverts aren't doing well right now. Check in on this person, check in on that person. So then it made me think, because I have to say that uh, even though I have somewhat of an extroverted personality, I haven't been experiencing what I'm seeing other people saying yeah. they're experiencing in social media. Like for me, because to me, it's only just really been a few days that the city has been like this in court, encouraging us to stay home as much as possible. My life was so full and you can appreciate this. Our lives are so full and busy and we are out socially so much that this slowdown has actually been nice. And I'm so yeah. sorry to say that. I feel guilty saying that. But this has actually been good for me. Mm -hmm. The slowdown. The mm -hmm. slowdown. Not what's happening to, in the city. Not people getting sick, of course. No. But I'm just saying that this different pace of life and having to just slow down, us being forced to slow down has actually been okay for me because I've been wanting to slow down and I wouldn't. And it took something to force me to do it. You know what's so, interesting? Um, so I've actually true. been okay. Like my mental health, my well being. The only thing is, I'm eating all my snacks. <laughs> <laughs> eating all, eating all the snacks. I'm like the other people who bought snacks for two weeks and it's done in two days. And I love these 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 bear nuts. So bear nuts are sugar coated nuts. Any kind of nut that your heart could desire for those who are not allergic to nuts, of course. And I've been eating this. And cheers. <laughs> I'm having some orange juice. <laughs> Be all right. <laughs> I'm having adult orange adult juice. Adult orange juice? That's what I'm having. So <laughs> I'm jealous. So that's to say that, um, yeah, so far I've been taking it in stride. And um, in terms of the because I know some people are having some challenges with adjusting to working from home and doing things from home. I still keep productive and maybe that's what's helping me keep my sanity, but I'm also staying connected to people. Like, yeah. again, I have to thank you so much for reaching out to me to be like, girl, how are you really? Yeah. Cause I did a Facebook live of me kind of dancing in my kitchen and people are like, nobody's that happy. <laughs> <laughs> but you are. Nobody's that happy, but for now, I'm quite, I'm still content. So thank you for checking in on me. Of course. You know what it was? Um, 
And we were talking about this briefly, that media right now, everything you see on social media is so like, oh. Intense. It's everything, every update is like, I'm not gonna say negative, but it's, it's like it raises your anxiety level each time. <laughs> like, right? we're, we have to so, shut down all the parks. We've got to shut down everything outdoors. We've got to shut out of this. We've heard of another death. Mm-hmm. 20 more people are sick. I'm like. But the, the, the challenge with that is that, of course, we want to stay up to date and in tune with what's happening. But it is literally like on the clock, around the clock. 24 hours and if you're not careful and you don't realize you've left it on that channel it's playing in the background and you're just hearing that constantly even if you're not sitting paying direct attention to it just even having it playing in the background to me is not good so i definitely don't do that like i look at it in the morning and i might look at it again at six o'clock only because um my mother will be like are you checking cp24 and i'll be like all right i'll check cp before. You know, and you know, and I thank CP24 for doing such a great job and keeping us all up to date and all that good stuff. Um, but I don't like to saturate myself with that information. And I don't share that on my personal social media platforms because I feel like there is so many people doing such a great job of doing that that they really don't need my help. Yeah. I just want to share some feel good funny cutesy videos like i was telling you i wish my daughter would like get on TikTok with me and do that fun dance move thing but she wants no part of it (laughs) she's like no you're not as cool as you think and you're not getting on TikTok and embarrassing me in front of my friends how many people are doing TikToks right now so speaking of that let's let's share with people some of the other things that you're doing to cope with okay. This. No, because you know what? Um, in, in all seriousness, it's good to still try to have some sort of routine. And my disclaimer is I don't have a little one at home with me. So I can't even imagine, bless okay. all of your hearts, <laughs> yeah. right? that there's families and people that are stuck together 24 hours a day. And really and truly, I hear some people saying, oh, you should be comfortable with your family. But we were never intended to be together all, all the, the time, time like that. <laughs> right but what so it's for myself in my household it's my mom and myself and um we have a lady that lives downstairs and so um when we do decide to go out grocery shopping we do like a teamwork thing but we wake up at like 6 a.m because walmart opens at 7 and costco some costcos were opening at 7 and we were like okay so this is the mission guys you know like the night before we're gonna go to sleep and we're gonna and you know our list and we head for the toilet paper first because if you don't get to the toilet paper aisle first it's not happening right (laughs) but we'll get to that whole toilet paper obsession so so yes so when we're doing shopping if we have to go somewhere to get our essentials we do it very early when there's hardly anybody there And now the stores have done like from seven to eight for seniors because people were really just going in there and we really have to be a lot more thoughtful of one another. So good on, you know, Walmart and Costco and some other stores. I don't know if they've implemented this too. Seven to eight, the seniors go. So I respect that. But right at like 7.59, I'm there with my gloves on. Ready. And my cart. (laughs) (laughs) And it's all strategy. It's the toilet paper aisle first <laughs> and the cleaning products. Wait. Right? Then you got to go to the bread because ain't no bread on the shelf. <laughs> right? But you, you know have what a I strategy get last? in place before you get there. And you know what I get last, and not because it's not important? The fresh fruits and vegetables. They're there. Lots yeah. and lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. But you got to go to the frozen section if you want frozen fruits and vegetables. You know, I get my coffee and my tea. <laughs> I get dishwashing liquid and bathing soap because God forbid we run out of toilet paper. We can use soap, guys. Let's talk about that. We can use soap. (laughs) And you know, we gotta keep a a little humorous about it, right? Like I hope people understand like me just bringing humor is not minimizing what's happening at all. But I think, you know, it's a healthy balance of we still gotta live and keep like, uh, find the laughter and the humor yeah still so that we just keep that positive energy going yes 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, for new business owners um, and for, I don't like to say small, I hate that word, uh, new business owners. Oh, uh, startups. Mm-hmm. Startups. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is a really good time for everyone to be honestly upping their game. Like there's certain things I'm enjoying. Number one, no commuting. <laughs> That's done. Right? The commuting is like three hours of your day just it is. there, right? So we're cutting out the commute. Is. Now you have time. You have three extra hours in your day to do stuff. Um, for me, that looks like, again, depending on when you want to start your day, I start my day really early. I'm up at five, right? Oh, so, wow. Yeah, girl, I'm one of those. So I'm mm-hmm. up from five, but then, oh, naps. <sighs> I've you been can able go, to nap. Do I really want right now? Snooze. Yes. And you don't like, I take my nap. Like I'm getting, I'm like an old person who naps at like one. <laughs> From <laughs> one to like 2.30. I'm out. What? Because you're up so early. But I'm up early and I've gotten a big chunk of work done. That's my workout out the way, which is another oh, thing. Like I'm going to speak to you about that because I know you're very active. I know people are just like the gym's closed. Oh my God. What are we going to do? So we can even talk about that. How are we staying active at You know home? what's cool? You know what people have been doing? They're getting on Zoom and they're doing like Zoom workouts together. Ah. Isn't that clever? People are coping. People are they finding are. a way. It's interesting that they what you are. have to be pushed sometimes into a corner to become creative. I think Zoom is becoming, you know, and neither of us are getting paid by Zoom, but, you know, Zoom is becoming um, this great uh, tool of choice because we can have our meetings. You and I, I mean, we're not using Zoom for this per se. We're using VMix call, which is great. I've used that for some Facebook um, when I'm doing an interview and I want to put it also on Facebook Live. But this is such a great, you can just have a great technology. Yeah, Zoom, you were, we were actually going to use Zoom to do it. Mm-hmm. So for a lot of people who want to do, who are doing shows, who does to do Facebook lives and you want to talk yeah. to people, Facebook took off that joint thing that you can do. They took it off. And so I, I, I hope now they look at this and see the need to put it back on. Yeah. But, um, you know, before I used to do it, be able to do it from my iPhone. Um, and I can't even do it from my desktop where you invite someone who's watching you during your Facebook live to come on and have like a split screen, like what we're doing now, but this is great. Um, yeah. So small or startups or smaller enterprise, um, people who are influencers and have their own online shows, they can use zoom and still carry on business as usual. I think it's so important for people to find a way to do business as usual, you know, even just to like for their sanity, right? Mm -hmm. Mm Because it's the change in routine that's really throwing people off, right? It is. Um, Like you said, being able to get your exercise in, if you're used to meeting with a certain amount of clients or just being at your desk and talking and being able to throw a joke with your coworker, that looks different now. You know what's interesting, Sharon, mm -hmm. is, and I appreciate it again, uh, again, our topic is being social during this whole social distancing time. You, we could have just done a phone call, but you were like, FaceTime me, Simone. And that's how, yeah. we, and I think that's something else people need to start doing. Pick up that, who cares how we look right now? Really, like, FaceTime, okay? Just do FaceTime. Just do FaceTime. It's you better. Can... FaceTime on WhatsApp, you could do a video call. Facebook Messenger, you could do Does a video, video call. video, yes. All of these different, um, you know, communication tools uh, have the option of you doing a video as well. But I think people used to use it just to talk to family back home or yeah. international business, but yeah. you could do it and talk to the person who's up the street mm-hmm. because we're supposed to be socially distancing. That's right. But it doesn't mean you have to like be in complete isolation. No. Nope. And that's the tricky thing with words, you know, self quarantine, social distancing, but I get to, experience you still you know like i yes. hear your voice i see your facial expression so i can have the eye contact and respond to you and your body language so this is the next best thing to you not physically being in front of me that's right 
That's right. And we can still have our, like, we're doing this. We're still talking. Guys, This we're socially we're distancing. Yes. But I can still see that my girl is eating beer nuts, which I don't have. I'm just here eating and living my best life. And <laughs> Social distancing. And drinking adult orange juice. Mimosa time. Mimosa <laughs> like, time. That is awesome. So we don't know how long this is going to go on for. We don't. But let's just say we were in this for another two weeks. Let's just say. What are some suggestions do you have for, for people, Sharon? Well, realistically, so my day job is I work for the federal government. And I received a notice, an email letter from um, the finance minister. And we are officially closed until April 5th. Okay. So there is no one at the office in the government building where I work. So realistically, for sure, not before April 5th, it's my life going back to business as usual. And, um, and really and truly, I want us to think about this. I don't think we're ever going back to business as usual. We're no. going back to business and it's gonna look a little different. Yes. And I'm gonna answer your question just now, but a friend of mine was saying that, you know, he's working from home and they did a team meeting by video call, conference call. He said an hour meeting shrunk down to 15, 20 minutes. Hmm. I said, well, how did you feel about it? He goes, it's great. We got right to the point. We talked about all the things we need to talk about and then we were off. And oh. he's like, now we know that these meetings that have been dragging on for an hour Don't could actually be 15 or 20 minutes. Yes. Like, oh, what yes. is that? He's like, you know, cause somebody brings the Tim Hortons donuts and we talk a bit and we eat. And of course, socializing is important, but I think for the effectiveness and the streamlining of how we do business, that this is gonna help things look a little bit different. different. Yeah. But in the meantime, yeah, it's good to, and I'm gonna say, I can speak to um, what I know to be true. What I know to be true based on my lived experience, because I'm by no means a psychologist or a therapist or anything like that. But what I know to be true for me is, um, you know, waking up early in the morning, even if it's planning the night before how I'm going to spend my day yes. has been helpful. Arranging yes. if I'm going to have my video calls, my video call meetings with people, um, if I'm going to tackle now that drawer full of like paperwork from 1992 that needed to clear out, you know what I mean? Like all of it, you know, be like, you know what, by noon, and especially if it's nice out, I'm making sure I go outside and walk around my block and get yeah. fresh air. So important to get fresh air every day. Like it's gorgeous out today. I had my hair in a, like a tighter little Bantu knots. And I walked outside for it to dry, you know, and then I came back in and we're talking and you're watching me take out my hair. So yeah, getting fresh air and, and walking, even if I don't do a workout inside the house, I at least walked outside. Yeah. And I make sure and even issued a friendly challenge amongst friends to do one video chat per day, That's minimum fun. with one person, just one video chat, but I definitely do more. And, um, Doing those things has been what's helped me and staying connected with people that once someone texts me, if they reach out to me in a phone call, I'll be like, hey, why don't we just video chat? And very few people have said no. Like, I think only two people said no to me. Said no. And it was one was like, I'm really not comfortable with technology. I'm like, no, let's just press the button. It's so easy. <laughs> They're like, you know what? I'm kind of enjoying this break right now, but I, you know, I love talking to you on the phone and I to respect their, of course, you know, their own free will, but like 98% of the people, they're about it, about it with me. We're doing this, they're doing this and it's so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Um, I appreciate the fact that your energy is so high and I think people need to see this, that I know a lot of us are dealing with anxiety when it comes to this, but it's all about your mindset, right? Like this can be really, really bad or this could be really great. For me, it's been great. I've enjoyed this. You know what else I've noticed? Um, I've, even with this, I'm able to talk to people way more. There's certain people I didn't have time to speak to. You know how many people I've been able to reach out to and have actual conversations with not okay, you know what? I have a 2.30 appointment, so I can only speak to you for 20 minutes. No, we can talk. Right. 
We're having you know, real conversations. Having actual conversations. I know Dave's going to be like, no con. So dialogue. Having actual dialogue. Dialogue. Yes. <laughs> yes. Like Dave it. hates anything that starts with con because con is not a good word. Oh, so. interesting. W words. The power of language, though. Real power talk. of words, right? So, but just being able to do that, I've connected with so many more people in the last two weeks than I have in a year. So I'm telling you, this COVID-19 thing has been, like you said, I don't think life's going to ever change, like go back to the way it was. Things are going to yeah. definitely change. And I hope people can keep up with it and see the positive side of all of this. It's bringing up a lot of creativity, right? Because uh, if I, I thought I saw where someone had to cancel like a, um, a convention, like a, and they were going to have a slew of guest speakers, and then they held it digitally, right? So like how I'm sitting here in my home and you're sitting there in the studio, socially distancing, like everyone got online. Like I remember things like pay-per-view. There's a way to still, if you think about it, create economy and maybe, you know, it'll be a lot of test runs, a lot of piloting, yeah. you know, but, but there's a way to do things. It's just embracing technology. Yeah. And I think, you know, for people, like I say, the, the, the social influencers that were a little bit ahead of the curve because we've already been doing this. So it's just to encourage others and show them that it's not so intimidating to do yeah. it. And, um, but I, I also want to speak to that, even embracing technology, there's still this human element because you still reached out to me. Yes. You know, like technology doesn't replace relationships nope. and connections. It can be the facilitator of, you know, continuing the connectedness. And that's been my message. That's your message. And, um, yeah, I think, and like you said, it's just the state of mind. It's just shifting the thinking little, now like i told you if this technology goes down and people are like oh. chopping trees and doing like a camping some people like nature and campings for them i would be going like <laughs> pulling this up right like i i don't rough it you know what i mean like right now i'm eating bear nuts <laughs> and you know nutella and vegetables <laughs> for all the healthy people out there i am having vegetables but i'm just saying you know um like I was saying to you, when I'm in my home, and this is where actually when the government is encouraging us to stay home, I also see that as a good thing. When I'm in my home and all the things that I can control and have in place are as they should be or as they normally are, that's a degree of normalcy. Yes. And I actually feel fine. And I can control how long I keep it on the COVID-19 update channel. And I can control what I surf and look at. Yeah. It's when I go outside can't control and that. I see the street looks empty or, or I see the store is sparse and the and the shelves are empty that you know my brain goes oh yeah this is mm. what's really going on here but when I'm in my own little haven here where I've created the comforts that I want and I talk to the people that I want um it's life is the same yeah I would so there's love something to, to hear inside. I'd love to hear from people and hopefully when we share this out we'll get I would love for people yeah. to oh, share the how they're coping with this. I want to hear ideas because I think that's another thing. Um, people might have an idea of coping that you haven't thought of and mm, you can share that point. with other people. And One moment, someone, sorry. I was just looking for I, I, where, where are we streaming so, live to so again? So my TCN TV. So M-Y-T-C-N TV. And it should come up. Yes, because I want to share. I want to share so that um, that's what I'm doing right now, folks. If you're wondering, I'm not being rude. <laughs> I'm still paying attention. But I definitely want to share this out because, yeah, I don't know if then we could see um, people's we'll get some engagement. Yeah, we want people to engage and to, to tell us. Like, again, we as a community, it's very important that we start working more so together. Because so what we're pops not... up for me is here it's... to help. Is it on here to help as well? No. no, it okay. should just be my TCN. <laughs> my TCN. Okay. On Facebook? Yes. On Facebook. Okay. It's on Facebook, right, Dave? Uh -huh. Oh, big up Dave. Dave's like, we've, we, I, well, I've been driving him crazy. Oh, there we go. I found my TCN. You found Never. it? Yes, I did. Why are we going to say goodbye now? I guess yeah, we should. We have to. It's but... been, we, had, we had a fun time. 
we just wanted to honestly guys this was very like spur of the moment we just wanted oh, to you, do you see us i found us yeah i found us there we go so listen sharon's gonna send this out to everybody i'm gonna send this out to everybody and my yes. request is for everybody to definitely like share please share this out and we want to hear from you what are you guys doing to cope with COVID-19 we want to hear some ideas I'm doing okay I'm oh and also some there's stuff. some links oh okay. I forgot and yeah and there's some links like even today the government gave even more updates of some supportive funding for smaller and small and medium enterprise Yes. And I think they're also increasing the, um, you know, funding that they're doing to supplement people's yes. income. So I do have to say that the Canadian government has really stepped up in offering lots of different funding. Absolutely. And I, I can share some of those links as well. I mean, you know, Simone and I are very much in touch with the reality of what's going on just because we're enjoying this time of slowing down. doesn't mean that we're insensitive to real concerns for people yes. out there. Um, so we're going to share that as well, right? Absolutely. But it was so good to talk to you. Yes, girl. Thank you for doing this. It took a little bit longer than we wanted it to, but we hope but that we you guys it. get something from this, you know, and get people moving to start engaging more and doing sh things like this so pe other people can see mm -hmm. it, right? Sharon, yes, thank yes. you. Thank you thank so much you. for thank taking the so time, much. for responding to me. I appreciate that. Um, a lot of people responded to what, what I, I wrote out this morning because I sent it to a few people because I wanted people to know that I'm thinking of the community. I want to know how you guys are doing. And I thank you, Sharon, for just, you know, taking it and saying, let's do this, Simone. Let's, let's talk. do it. Let's talk yes, about yes. it. That was great. So everybody, thank you for watching. For those who have watched now, if you're going to watch it after, thank you again. And Sharon, I need a mimosa. Catch you on the replay. And some beer nuts when this is all done. I'm a team player. I'm going to take a bear nut for you. Thank you. I'm going to take a bear nut for Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day, everyone. Sharon, have a wonderful day. You too. Guys, you too. TCN will be back soon. Um, Black, in, Black Inspire, still doing you guys. You guys are still doing your thing. So watch out for us. Thank you. We'll see you guys Thank soon. Thank you, TCN, for generously hosting me today. This was, was wonderful. Fun. Thank you so much. I appreciate okay. it. All right, guys. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>